Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. This is a continuation. You just saw a Costco haul from me and now I'm in the same outfit doing a Sam's haul. So I still have some of my Costco stuff in the background. We only put away the cold stuff. This is my Sam's haul here. Today was huge, really, really big haul. The Costco haul, if you haven't watched it, was from our annual Costco City Rewards. Um, this was 600 and about $50. I think it was like 648 and some change from Sam's Club. This was from our regular budget, like our regular grocery budget. It was closer to the normal stuff that we would buy on a normal basis. <laughs> Most of our, all of our fresh stuff is from Sam's. Um, things that we could just couldn't find at Costco. Like they just did not have it at Costco because of the winter storm. We were able to find it at Sam's Club. Normally we don't shop this heavily at Sam's Club. Um, and then we did pick up some household stuff again that Costco did not have so this is by far the largest haul I feel like I've done it since last summer normally I do a stock up haul in the summer when my girls are home from school they've been home from school the entire year they're distance learning because of COVID and we blow through food like nobody's business I needed to just completely stock back up and some of the stuff is just cheaper to buy in bulk so we'll hang on to it this food will probably last us six, eight weeks, maybe even two and a half months. Um, the only thing we should have to go back for is like fresh stuff, milk and eggs, all the snacky things. Um, the bigger household items will last us a long time. So I'm very happy about that. But let's go ahead and jump right in because I still have to put it all away. Okay, I'll start over here. Again, don't mind all, this is like all our boxes and everything from today. And again, all that on the back table is from Costco. Um, this is just Sam's Club. So we were out of vinegar. I pulled the last one a couple weeks ago. So I just picked up a two pack. I did not see that at Costco at all. So Sam's Club had it. Um, these toilet wand refills, same thing. I normally get them from HEB. They're, they come in a 20 pack of re the refills for $10. This was $12 each and it comes with 36 refills and then an extra handle, which we don't need the handle, but we can always exchange the ones that we have or whatever, put it in, have it as a backup. So I picked up two because for $12 for 36, that's really good. You can definitely just clean your toilet with a good old regular toilet brush or your elbow grease and uh, regular Clorox. But if the girls are helping just like do a quick, especially in their bathroom, a, a quick rinse of the toilet or whatever, these are really, really handy to have. So picked up two of those. I saw these Kool-Aid Jammers Zero Sugar. They were only $5 at Sam's Club. I don't know how good they are. I don't really know much about them. We'll see. But we did pick them up the Honest Juices. They do like the Kool-Aid Jammers though. So they'll be set on juices for quite a while. Um, my Honey Bunny was with me. Sorry, I know some of you don't like when I say my Honey Bunny. Andres was with me. He wanted to pick up Moon Pies. So anything extra when he's with me, he does a lot of the heavy lifting. He tosses it in the cart. We say no words. So Moon Pies it is. I picked up another one of these Cambro six quart commercial grade food storage containers. I needed an extra one for oatmeal and then I always like to have extra for whatever else I can find to put in there. Extra pastas, potatoes, whatever. Um, but yeah, I want an extra one for oatmeal because I picked up an oatmeal, you can see it over there from Costco, and I don't like having the bag sitting on the shelf. So I picked up one of these and this was like $8.50. The chips I got, the sun sun what is it sun chips from costco and then i picked up the baked chips and then these are for the girls they like the baked chips too and they're more than welcome to have them but i bet they'll pick these first and we can buy big bags it's cheaper to buy big bags it's so much more convenient to have individual bags and it also helps with portion control it saves me time from having to count out chips or <laughs> weigh out chips and i know that they're getting just a small portion of the these are the one ounce bags so it just is so much easier for us so we picked those up at sam's and then down here um we picked up a two pack this was 21 dollars of the kingsford instant light charcoal we had zero and it would have been nice to have this when it was the winter storm a couple of weeks ago because we do like to grill outside and this one doesn't require any lighter fluid. It is a little bit more expensive, but these are two 16 pound bags, so pretty good. Cats are so weird, they love boxes. <laughs> That's Lola over there. And then here, I picked this up. Well, Andres and I decided, we have a pool. We're definitely going to open the pool for 
there's the other one <laughs> for the girls of course like probably in the next month or so when it warms up a little bit um, we have to make sure all the water and everything we did to it this past year stayed intact and covering it up and everything but Everly is not going to be able to go in the pool by herself like I allow Emmy and Maddie they can stand above water and Autumn wears um, paddle puddle jumpers and so they can go in the pool and I just will sit on the porch or in the house like at the table and watch them while they're swimming but Everly's not going to be able to do that so I wanted to have a better option with her without me having to get in the pool all the time so this inflatable mermaid pool and slide looks so cute and so fun I don't know I'm hoping she'll be big enough she'll be about a year and a half this summer and I'm hoping she'll be big enough to be able to use it this was $55 so again a good part of that 650 as well but we thought it was cute and something that we would get a lot of use out of and then so I bought regular oatmeal over there but the girls really like to mix it with the fruit and cream so they get one packet of this and I didn't know that they had like the big pack of it or maybe I did and I forgot I don't know but it only comes in a 10 pack at H-E-B and it does not last us very long at all so they take one pack of this and about anywhere from a third to a half a cup of regular oats and that's what they'll have for breakfast depending on which kids eating it that really helps the oatmeal stretch it keeps them fuller they don't have as much sugar yada 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 so I picked up those and then uh, I just picked them up some fruit cups but I didn't pick up the cherry mixed fruit so I picked up uh, one of those and then a diced tomato these are the only cans that I picked up from Costco and Sam's like vegetable wise and stuff and the only reason I picked these up is because they are only 58 cents a can and for tomatoes that's a cheap cheaper price than I can get at HEB so I picked up a case of them this whole thing was like six bucks which is great um, some honey bunches of oats with almonds for Andres he wanted those we needed ketchup we needed mayo and surprisingly Costco didn't have this we had to get it at Sam's Club and then the on the border salsa con queso and then the Monterey Jack queso I've never tried these tortillas before, but I've heard that they're really, really good. Five net carbs per, per tortilla, so I'd have to see how many points on Weight Watchers they are, but I got these for everybody to try, so we're going to give those a go. Some Pam Spray, um, the whole tender artichoke, so much cheaper, and they're in water at Sam's. They're, uh, they are in oil at Costco. Some ranch for the girls. I haven't bought croutons in so long, and this big old bag is so much cheaper than at HEB. The girls love these croutons, so I picked them up. Some more Sweet Baby Ray's sauce. This is a regular one. I bought the sugar-free last time for me, and I really like it. I like the sugar-free Baby Ray's uh, better than the G Hughes by far, but we needed regular for everyone else, so I got that. And then two big things of the mild picante, uh, some spices, basil, which we already had in the cabinet, but I'm just picked it up, so <laughs> we'll have basil for the rest of our lives. And then some thyme, thyme, however you pronounce it. Uh, some Nesquik, again, this was courtesy of him, strawberry flavored. He's like, the girl's going to love these. I'm like, oh, the girls, huh? Not you. He loves strawberry milk, so... They'll get, I can't stand strawberry milk, but they'll get a good use out of that. Some cheddar cheese crackers. These are good for all the girls on the go. Some on the border salsa chips. These are new, limited edition, so we wanted to try those. And then veggie puffs, sa uh, sour cream and onion. Again, limited edition, new. Never tried them, so we're going to try those. Some just tostada shells, a big case of applesauce. The girls are going to be so excited. We've been out of applesauce for a while. And same thing with the pudding. We have not had pudding in probably six months. And so they're going to be really excited about that. It comes with chocolate and vanilla. Over here we had yogurt. Um, we did not find any yogurt at Costco. So I just picked up the Yo Play original for the girls. And then the Chobani Flips multi-pack. I've never seen this anywhere in a multi-pack. It comes with s'mores, strawberry cheesecake, cookies and cream, and key lime crumble. So everyone will enjoy those. 16 of them and it was only 11 bucks, which is pretty good. Uh, Pepper Jack Tillamook block. Oaxaca cheese for Andres, two of the Athenos feta cheese. I was trying to find the block cheese and I could not find it. So I just picked up two of these in case we wanted to do the TikTok pasta again. And then we use it on salad all the time. Some frozen fruit. We got um, blueberries and strawberries. And again, Costco had nothing of that sort. So we picked it up at Sam's. Baby spring mix. All the fresh stuff was from Sam's because... 
it was so scarce at Costco or super, super overpriced. So baby spring mix, we got a big thing of russet potatoes, 15 pounds. It's going to last us a while. So that's cool. Two things of the grape tomatoes, one for salads and snacking and one probably for the TikTok pasta. We made it the other night. It was so freaking good. <laughs> so good. But we used a whole container of, um, tomatoes. So I bought two, some Envy, 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 whatever, apples, some avocados. I got a big thing of bell peppers, the tricolor, two of the Asian chop salad. Honestly, if we're all eating this, we used to love this from Costco and I haven't seen it in forever. If we're all eating this, we'd have to make both of them. But just for like a quick lunch for one of us, that would be good to go. Some more of these mini peppers. I gave them to the girls with just straight up tomatoes with a little bit of the on the border queso sauce and they loved it for lunch one day. Ate the peppers whole. Perfect. Celery sticks. We have peanut butter already to go with that and raisins. The girls have been wanting to make ants on a log. So we have that. Some more mandarins because we're out of the other ones. I can never keep berries in stock very much here at the house. We go through them fairly quick and they're pretty expensive, but the girls really enjoy them and we do too. So I picked up um, raspberries and then non-frozen, the blueberry, the frozen blueberries are for smoothies or like if Everly wants a frozen treat or whatever, the fresh are for everybody. Some cauliflower, kiwi, the girls love kiwi. A big thing of fresh broccoli, tricolor coleslaw. It's so, so cheap at Sam's by far. Oh, you know what? We're missing, baby. You didn't pick up a romaine. Darn, we missed the romaine. So we'll have to pick up that at some point. But I like to make like egg rollable or lettuce wraps with the coleslaw. It's just so much easier. And then I picked up a garden salad for quick salads. And then I thought I picked up the six pack of romaine, but I guess it didn't make it home. So we'll have to pick up that. Uh, two pound thing of strawberries was six fifty. So pretty expensive for where I live. But honestly, I haven't seen them cheaper. So we just went ahead and got them. Three pounds of bananas, a big pineapple. We did pick up some meat from Sam's Club. I don't think we I think we picked up hardly anything from I think we picked up just like frozen meats from Costco but some fresh meats from Sam's because we couldn't find them at Costco <laughs> so some bacon this bacon was so expensive so expensive it's the applewood thick cut roll wood smoked bacon it's four pounds I think yeah four pounds and it was $18 maybe that's cheap where you guys come from what is that like four fifty a pound uh, maybe that's cheap. I don't know. I feel like that's expensive from the one that we spent, the one that we normally get at Costco, but we got it. And then we picked up two things. Um, they're both about five pounds of chicken. So this will be good for two, two and a half meals plus leftovers for us. Um, they didn't have the thin slice and I don't know if we'll go to H-E-B anytime soon. I only had one pack of chicken. One. I had tons of pork, not that much beef, but tons of ground turkey, tons of pork, all variations of pork, um, but we only had one pack of chicken. So I picked up two of those, some chicken apple smoked sausages. We were completely out of lunch meat and Costco had zilch. So I picked up extra lean smoked turkey breast, uh, shaved smoked turkey. I don't know how I ended up with two, but we got that extra lean ham. The girls like both, but they prefer ham. Andres prefers ham. I picked up this fresh cilantro salsa. It's mild. We'll see how good it is. I think that this would be great with those on the border chips. This was only four bucks for this Italian ground sausage. It's mild and it is two pounds. Two pounds total, I think. Yeah, two pounds total. So this will be good with eggs or with potatoes in the morning or whatever. You could really do it with whatever you can see there. It's with lasagna, whatever you want to do with it. So we picked up that to try it. Two packs of ribs. These are bone in pork ribs. That's the only kind of pork we did not have was ribs. We have all kinds of like butts and roasts and shoulders and everything else that the pork chops come in and loin. But, um, we didn't have ribs, so we picked up two packs of those. Raw shrimp. Last time, I got a lot of suggestions to pick up raw shrimp instead of just like frozen cooked shrimp, so we're gonna try that. I think we've cooked with this before. It's two pounds, it's about 12 bucks. So I picked up two of those. Broccoli is the only frozen vegetable that we got because I was able to pick up mixed vegetables and stuff this last haul. So we have that. 
And the rest picked up these chimichangas. He loves these, the steak and cheese. He's been wanting them since the last time we were at Sam's Club and he refrained. And this time he was like, I just have to get them. They're so good. So it comes with 16. And then the Totino's um, pizza rolls for the girls, again, for like a quick lunch. So yeah, that was our $650 Sam's Club haul. After a super long day of grocery shopping, I am absolutely beat, but I'm, we're so blessed, so grateful to be able to afford and have this much food at one time, especially with the winter storm that happened in Texas. So many people lost power, lost everything that they had, and it would have been devastating for us, for sure. And it just, it was a reminder how not, how good it is to keep some sort of stock on hand at all times, canned goods, um, non-perishables, things that you can sustain your family on if something were to happen like that. Don't get me wrong, we buy a lot of stuff for our fridge and freezer, of course, but it's nice to be able to have these things and know that we have them if anything were to happen. Also, if you lose a job or lose your income, the more you can have on your shelf for months prepared in the future, the better off you are because what if you lose a job or your spouse gets injured or something and you guys don't have any income coming in? It's a huge expense to feed a family of six. So yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> now I have to put it all away. Um, but again, really no complaints. I, I'm so lucky that we are able to have this. Thank you, Costco City Rewards card, because they paid for the whole Costco haul. And then this 650 came out of our household, our fun, and our grocery budget for the month. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it all away. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.